PrintableScience.com presents a utility knife handle. In an earlier video, we presented a project for making your own hobby knife handle. And if you missed it and would like to learn how you can 3D print a hobby knife holder and workstation, you can follow the link which is up there. I'm sure of it. While hobby knives are handy things to have, they aren't particularly suited to more heavy duty cutting tasks like cutting thick cardboard or scoring wallboard. For applications like that, the tool that stood the test of time is the utility knife. The utility blade itself is readily recognizable from its double-ended slanted blade and the one, two, or three detents along the top edge. Reproducing an object like this on a 3D printer is a bit of a challenge. The spherical tapered profile of the handle doesn't play nice with the printer bed because there's no orientation that will provide enough surface area for bed adhesion. Of course, you can get around that with supports, but we're not a big fan of supports at Printable Science. It's always a pain to remove them, and they're always uh, it always seems they require more post-processing than really seems worthwhile. The classic design is actually composed of uh, two halves that are bolted together, and you might think that the seam would provide you with all the surface area you could possibly want for bed adhesion if you printed it upside down like this. Of course, uh, you still would need to provide for the knockout for the blade to rest in. The width and the length of the blade don't play nice with the bridging limitations of most printers, particularly because the blade is actually pretty thin and so the tolerances are fairly tight. So even if your printer can bridge the gap, it probably can't do it without some droop, which would be unacceptable. So the approach we took was to design a handle that preserved the classic profile as much as possible, but has a flat edge at the bottom that gives enough surface area for the print to stick successfully to the bed. Of course, that's not the complete solution to the design challenge, as we can't just have a knockout for the blade in the end of the handle and think that we can just slip a blade in there and it'll somehow stay in position. So what we came up with is a blade carrier or cartridge piece that holds the blade and slides into the handle and it is in turn held by a bolt in the center. What makes this work is this small thin flap that's positioned at the end of a long tongue of extruded filament. Because the tongue is so thin, it retains its flexibility even when printed in hard filaments like PLA and ABS. Now, there is not much strength in this flap, but there doesn't need to be an actual use. You take a blade and you carefully slide it into the uh, cartridge while gently holding back the flap. And when the blade itself is in position, you let the flap fall into the notch of the blade. Now, when you slide the blade into the handle, the walls of the handle hold the flap notch securely in place within the structure. And that supplies all the strength you need to keep the blade in place without damage to the notch. This project is intermediate in difficulty. We don't have trouble printing off the handle on any of our printers, but depending on your bed's holding power, you may have some trouble getting the bottom edge of the handle to stick. In that case, you can always use your slicer to add a brim. The same goes for the cartridge as well although it shouldn't be the cause of any problems. The main thing to watch for is that uh, your printer is not filling in the channel between the sides of the flap and the sides of the cartridge. That can happen if you're over extruding or your first layer height isn't high enough and you're creating too much of an elephant's foot. There's a test file for this project that will allow you to uh, check a few things before committing your printer to the complete project. It consists of two pieces, each of which is basically a smaller cross-section of the handle and the cartridge. Printing them off will allow you to ensure there's enough clearance in the handle for the cartridge to slide into it, that the tongue in the cartridge is printing properly without getting stuck to the sides of the cartridge, and that uh, both the tongue and the cartridge are adhering successfully to your print bed. You might also want to consider printing off the bolt and testing that the thread uh, 
forms properly for screwing into the threaded nut on the test section of the barrel. Now, if you don't like a plastic bolt, it's a standard quarter inch thread, so you can always use a metal replacement. We find that plastic works just fine, and we've even included a, a mini star-shaped screwdriver, because in our projects, we like to rely on as little as possible beyond what our 3D printer can produce. We printed all these parts in PLA for a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, two perimeters, three top and bottom layers, and for the handle and cartridge, we used a 20% infill, and for the bolt and screwdriver, we selected 85% infill to give those parts the extra strength they need. Once the parts are printed, you should probably test fit the cartridge in the handle and uh, check the uh, bolt in the uh, handle thread as well and make sure the tongue printed correctly. After that, it's a simply a matter of uh, taking a blade, slipping it into the cartridge, slipping the cartridge into the handle, and bolting the cartridge in place. You'll notice that there's a small indent at the back of the handle that will help you push out the cartridge when it's time to change blades. So here's our 3D printed utility knife handle all finished and ready for action. We have here a, a piece of wallboard and a T-square and our blade. Reverse it. Break it. And there we go. Who says 3D printed pieces aren't strong enough? We hope our utility handles of use to you and that you'll find it useful for your home or shop. Thanks for watching. And won't you help by becoming an important part of the Printable Science family and making this channel more valuable and successful? You can help us out by taking the time to watch this video in its entirety and other Printable Science videos as well, perhaps while your 3D printer is printing off this project. You can leave comments and questions below. That will help us to continue to create useful videos and 3D STL files that are printer ready and help you to maximize the power and utility of your 3D printer. Your feedback is very important. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you have just a moment, won't you show your support by clicking the subscribe button below. If you want to make sure you don't miss our upcoming videos on 3D printing, you want to click on the notify bell as well. And please consider supporting Printable Science on Patreon using the link supplied below. Being a Patreon supporter provides you with lots of extras and additional information, as well as going a long way to defray the cost of making these files and videos. Down below, you'll also find a link where you can download a copy of the STL files from Thingiverse so that you can print your own hobby knife handle and related files. As always, you can download a copy of the STL files for this and other projects directly from our website. The latest files and a discussion board on the utility knife handle are available at the printablescience.com website, where all the science that fits, we print.